Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net and I want to share an incredible stat with you. In the 2017 Australian Open, remember Roger Federer won that tournament, he only won 49% of the points when he stayed at the baseline. When Roger Federer stayed at the baseline, he only won 49% of those points for the entire tournament. You would think that one of, if not the greatest player of all time, would win more points than he loses when he's at the baseline, but, it's, but he doesn't. And in fact, in that tournament, when he went to the net, when you compare his net points, he won 71% of the points. So when he stayed back at the baseline, he only won 49%, but when he went to the net, he won a whopping 71%. Look, if you are someone who doesn't like going to the net, you're gonna be like Roger Federer, only winning 49% of those points, and you're not gonna be able to beat players you're capable of beating. You've got to get to the net more often. There are three ways to get to the net. Serve and volley, which recently I've been making a lot of videos on how to serve and volley and how to practice serve and volley. In fact, if you look above here, if you just click on this, this card, you can easily go to one of those videos on how to practice serve and volley. When you get a short ball, right? So the second way to get to the net is when you get a short ball. That's pretty obvious, right? Your opponent hits short and you come in and attack. But the last, I don't often see recreational and club players using, and that is when your opponent is in trouble. When you get your opponent in trouble, you've got to advance, you've got to attack, especially if you pull them off the court. You gotta move in, take time away, and hit a volley into the open court. Let's look at that exact situation when you get your opponent in trouble. This is courtesy, this video is courtesy of Matt Lynn. Please give him a sub. I've put his link in the description below. And I want you to watch this simple yet incredibly effective strategy that you can copy to win a lot more matches. Now I'm actually not going to play the audio from this video just because there must have been a helicopter overhead and it's extremely annoying. So we're just going to go through here and here's the serve, here's the return. Now I want you to watch this player who's hitting the backhand. He is going to absolutely crush a down the line backhand, which is going to get the near player in major trouble. Now, when you crush a ball, and I don't care if you hit this cross court, if it hits it down the line, if it's a forehand or a backhand, that's not the important part. The important part is when you hit a strong shot to a corner, and there are many more opportunities to get your opponent in trouble. I'm just using these two as to illustrate this. But when you hit a really strong shot to a corner and you get your opponent in trouble, it is vital that you immediately move forward. Watch this. I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit. I want you to watch. Here's this down the line shot that I was talking about. Watch the opponent, right? Watch this. He is sneaking in. The moment he hit that ball, he knew that the opponent was going to be in trouble. You can just feel it off your racket. You can tell that he hit, it, he, he hit it really hard. He can tell his opponent's going to be in trouble. And look at the opponent stretching. He needs to move in because when this ball is hit back, he needs to hit it into the open court before his opponent can recover. You need to take time away from the opponent. That's exactly what happens. He moves in. And look at this, he's volleying the ball right now, and there's all of this space that this player has to cover. He hits the ball into the open court, and he wins the point. Now, I will say this. Here's one little extra tip. If you have a feeling that your opponent is going to hit the ball off the court at an angle, you cannot run straight across. That is not going to get you to the ball. You have to run in at an angle. The shortest distance to a line is perpendicular to that line. So what I mean by that is this volley is going to be hit off the court. He needs to run in at an angle to have any chance of getting that ball. Since he ran straight across, he had no chance. The ball actually is going away from you and you're not able to cut it off. So just a quick little side note here. If you have a feeling that your opponent is going to hit a, an angle volley off the court, then you need to move in at an angle to cut that shot off. But let's look at this simple, simple strategy again. 
Here's the serve, the return back down the middle or near the middle, which is a common strategy that I teach in many of my single strategy videos. He blasts the ball to a corner, knowing that the moment he hits it, he gets his opponent in trouble. And you can see him sneaking in. He's sneaking in, taking time away, hitting the ball for a winner. Now, sometimes the simplest strategies are often the ones most overlooked. If this is you and you blast a ball to the corner and you just know that your opponent is going to be in trouble getting to that ball, then you need to immediately step inside the court. You got to split step as your opponent hits, but you need to move in, even if it means you're in no man's land. When your opponent, by the way, when your opponent is in trouble, this is no longer no man's land. Standing in no man's land isn't no man's land if your opponent's in trouble. The shot they hit is so weak they can't hurt you even if you're in no man's land because you can easily get out of it by the time you make contact with the ball. But what you're doing is you're robbing them of time. Then they hit a weak ball back, you step in, and if they're really fast, you can always hit behind them if you want to. But if they're not super fast or you get there in time and they're still slightly off the court, then that's when you're gonna angle the ball away from them. I mentioned that when the ball is going to be hit off at an angle, that when you're behind the baseline, you actually want to run in to try to cut that ball off. It's really the only way you're going to get to that ball. I shouldn't say only way. It's the easiest way to get to that ball on one bounce. A lot of times, if this is going to be the first bounce, and this is gonna be the second bounce. When you run straight across, you're actually running to a place where the ball has already bounced twice. You gotta run in at an angle to get to that ball before it bounces a second time. So if you do suspect that your opponent's gonna hit an angle, move in at an angle to cut that ball off. Now, learning these strategies are great, and I appreciate you watching my videos, obviously, but you need to play more matches and have more practice time in order to utilize and implement this in your game. And that's why I want you to check out the guys over at playyourcourt.com. My link is in the description below, and if you use my link to sign up and to find evenly matched practice partners and matches, both singles and doubles, of people in your area looking for you to play against. If you use my link, you get 50% off for your first year's membership. This is gonna get you playing with people in your area who you've never met before, yet you didn't even know they live around the corner and you didn't even know that they're looking for players just like you. So make sure you check out playyourcourt.com in the description below. And if you use my link, you get 50% off for your first year. I want you to start noticing whether it's other matches that you're watching or maybe you're filming yourself play. Maybe you're just cognizant of and you're remembering, oh my gosh, I hit this really good shot. I, hit, I moved around. I hit this great in, inside out forehand, but I didn't step inside the court. You got to start moving forward. Remember, Roger Federer, when he stayed at the baseline, 49% of the points that he won. When he went to the net, he won 71% of the points. Going to the net gives you a huge advantage. Start going to the net when your opponent's in trouble and you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.